Hello, welcome back to Simply Nicole. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys, you know, have the positive energy flowing towards you today. If not, here it is. Here's some positive energy for you today. Um, I've been seeing a lot about social anxiety, kind of that topic on the internet. And today we're going to be talking about social anxiety. I thought there was a lot that I could say. I felt very compelled to speak on social anxiety. It felt like a very personal topic to me in my life. So, and I wanna to try to teach and give a lesson on kind of how I overcame it or how I deal with social anxiety um, personally. So one thing that I've learned with mental health is that you know what you have. You know if you have depression, you know if you have anxiety, you know if you have social anxiety, you know, and nobody can tell you, you know how you feel. So going back a little bit personally, like I have dealt with depression, not clinical depression where I need medication, but I have felt depressed before. And so therefore I, you know, I know what it feels to feel anxious and I know what it feels like to feel socially anxious. Now, the difference is for me, when I felt my depression, that was something that I felt later in life in my early twenties, but my social anxiety, I have events from my childhood from before I was like five six years old of being so scared traumatized shy um that triggered my social anxiety or that made me anxious in those social situations and the difficult thing is about it is it's something that I believe okay if you have social anxiety then that means that you just have you also have an anxious mind so you kind of think a lot there's nothing wrong with that but with social anxiety, it's kind of hard to explain to other people what it is and why you act a certain way, why you stick to yourself. And a lot of people, I know for me growing up, it was just people wanted me to be more outgoing. They wanted me to be more talkative, hang out more. Um, but they didn't understand that that kind of stuff made me very, very uncomfortable, very anxious. And that's the thing. Anxiety sometimes, you know, its goal, its whole purpose is to protect us from things that we deem harmful and dangerous. But sometimes it gets a little bit out of control. And so it's all about toning it down and controlling it and dialing it back. So um, I think for me, like I said, um, I used to be very anxious in social settings because growing up I was shy which is fine. That was just my personality. I was shy. I actually was very scared of people. I didn't like people. I just always felt uncomfortable if I was around somebody that I didn't know, you know, from when I was little, four or five years old, very uncomfortable. Once I got to know someone and knew that, you know, they weren't harmful, I loved being around them. And so I kind of carried that mindset all throughout middle school and high school. And it just sucked because I already knew that I wasn't going to have a lot of friends because I, I never wanted to be with the popular crowd. I wasn't really wasn't into what the popular crowd was into. So I kind of stayed to myself and I kind of think people just saw me as a weird, quirky, awkward girl who, you know, but when I'm around my, when I was around my, my troop, my, you know, small circle of friends at the time, I was very, very happy, very, very much myself, which is, you know, who you want to be. The goal is to be authentic. And so I love that. But it, whenever it came around to being around people that I didn't know or wasn't comfortable with or hadn't spoken to, I always just felt this anxiety. I'm thinking, like, who are these people? How are they going to react to me? Can I really be myself around them? And so when I got to college, I, you know, I kind of set all that aside and I said, it's college. I don't know anybody here, so I have to make friends. And I made friends. I kind of, I kind of just made friends um, in just a natural way. You know, I met friends through mutual friends. I just kind of just like spoke to people more, and I just was myself, and I was able to attract friendships that were good for me, that were meant for me. And I know we always talk about introvert versus extrovert, and that's something that I that I learned in college. And I, you know, when I first heard the terms, I always thought, okay, well, duh, I'm an introvert. I'm quiet. I don't even really like talking that much. I'm an introvert. I'm not an introvert. If anything, I'm a mixture of the two, but I, you know, I actually, I love going out. I love, I don't want to say going out, like, you know, to the club or anything all the time, but I love being around a lot of people. I love, you know, experiences, being out, being in the city, you know, being alone. There's, I love that too. I really do. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I can get ener energy from both, <laughs> um, but I love going out. Any opportunity to go out, I never really pass it down unless I'm just not feeling well, but 
I love going out, you know, but there definitely has to be a balance. Um, so I didn't want to label myself as introvert or extrovert, but you know what I've actually noticed before I get to, you know, how to overcome it and things like that. What I've actually noticed is when people meet me, I don't think that they automatically think that I'm shy or I think people more so think that I'm timid. They think that I'm very sweet and they think that I am very just gentle. That That's what people think. They think, oh my gosh, she's so gentle. And I'm working on that. Like, because I'm moving on in life. I'm about to go to grad school. I'm going to meeting a lot of new people and I don't want to come off as, as um, dismissive or aloof or anything. Cause I'm not like that. I love talking. As you can see, I love sharing ideas and thoughts and opinions, but with people that it's meant to be for, because I think, you know, we, we I've kind of dealt with just, you know, sharing things, being too vulnerable with people that, you know, end up not even being my real friend. And like I said, again, defense mechanism. So I, I want to come off, you know, as, as the person that I am genuinely, which is just a very sweet, empathetic, nice, I may not be the most outgoing all the time, but I'm just chill. That's the thing about me. I am chill. Whenever I'm um, in my friend group, um, my two friends, my college friends, they were like, one of them was kind of on 10 a lot. And then the other one was a little more level. And then I was just the one that was just like, look, whatever y'all are doing, I'm just going to sit back, relax. Like I was always chill. Like I just, that's just the kind of mood that I was usually in unless like it was something in the moment that was that excited me, like a certain conversation or a topic. For the most part, I'm chilling. I'm observing. I'm feeling the energy. So that has just been very interesting. And one thing that I keep like seeing, you know, like I said, I want to come across. I don't I, I think that when I meet new people and when I go in new settings, I kind of give off this vibe of don't talk to me. Because I don't really make that much eye contact because I don't want to, you know, it's awkward to make eye contact with somebody else. And I don't want to speak and then not be spoken back to. And then I don't really want to open the door for more questions if I'm uncomfortable and if I don't know you, you're a stranger. But I don't want to give off, don't talk to me when I'm meeting somebody new or anything like that. Or if I'm like, if I'm just in, out in public and I'm walking into an elevator and there's people in there, I don't want to like, I automatically feel like ill, like. I just don't like it, but I don't, I want to be a little bit more comfortable. And the thing about it is I know I'm going to have to force it a little bit, get outside my comfort zone. So I'm making it a goal of mine to, to, um, speak more to people that I don't know, you know, in public, you know, the cashier, you know, the person that's giving you your food, speak, you know, say hi, say thank you. Say, how are you doing today? Do it. I guess it feels unnatural, but I'm working on that because that deep on the inside is who I am. Like I do love human beings so much. I love connecting with people. I love learning about people, but that stuff not going to come to me if I'm constantly in my shell. And so I'm just making it a point to whoever I walk across. If I'm walking, I walk past with somebody, just speak to them. Don't overthink it. Don't say, what is this person going to think of me? You know, who, you know, who am I to speak to them? No, you, you never know like the impact you could have on somebody's life just by uplifting them, just by speaking to them. Okay. Because you never know what somebody may be experiencing. And so just something as simple as speaking is, is, is powerful. That's what I'm working on. And that's, you know, what our power as each individual unique human beings, you never know who can benefit from just your energy, your essence. You have to know that you're a blessing to, to encounter and you want other people to feel that. So I'm telling myself this, I'm telling you this, you know, next time, I, cause when I'm around people that I don't know, I'm very uncomfortable. And I don't know if that's just me. Most people are just, I think sometimes a lot of people are uncomfortable when they're around people they don't know, but some people take that extra step and they break the ice. Me, I'm just like, I, I just want to get out of the situation. I don't even try to cope with the situation. I just want to get out of it, but I'm going to start talking a little bit more. And even for me, it's weird cause I have tried it and I'm just like, Oh my gosh, this is not me. But if it's people you don't know, they don't even know what's really you or not. So um, I encourage you, if you think that, you know, you dealt with social anxiety, trust me, I understand. And I understand what it's like when people try to tell you, oh no, like you don't have social anxiety. You're fine. You're just overthinking. No, you know what's what goes through your mind. Okay. And I know that it can be hard to try to break out of that shell and how to not feel anxious all the time. But I'm telling you, positive affirmations, speak to yourself positively, and you can spread that positivity 
back into the world and no one's even gonna think of it no one's even gonna care it gets it's all in my head i understand that's all in our little heads but just be just be you I, at the end of the day of course be you be authentic but there's absolutely nothing wrong with working on yourself and being a little bit more social it's it, it, we can do it okay we can do it one thing i'll say like i've learned a lot about anxiety i've been reading a lot of books on it but read books read books on personal development anxiety social skills all that and work on it and you can definitely level up and become the best you and start attracting better friendships better relationships and a better life for yourself so i hope you guys found this video relatable i hope my story inspired you and i'll see you guys in my next one